Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Um, so today we're going to be doing another Permod set. <laughs> okay, um, and I like the way that my last Permod set came out. It was my first Permod set and, my, and, and, and I really like the way that it came out. So I've been wanting to do another one. So we're about to do it and let's see if we can perfect it this time. Not that anything was wrong with it, but I just want to like really perfect it. Okay. I think I did one too many like twirls or whatever and it just, yeah. So we're going to try to, uh, blah, blah, I can't speak. We're going to try to perfect it this time and uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm about to put this little thing. Oh, around my neck because I have um, my leave-in conditioner in under here if you guys don't know you're new to my channel I like to um, put a plastic cap um, over my leave-in conditioners it helps to just um, have any kind of conditioner that I put in my hair I like to put the cap over it to for the product to penetrate into my um, Hair strands um, so yeah um, the leave-in conditioner that I used is the nature's little secret banana leave-in leave-in I can't speak today <laughs> the nature's little secret banana leave-in conditioner um, if you guys didn't know I am an affiliate um, with nature's little secret I do have a code it's Janelle 15 it'll save you 15 15% off I will leave it links down below as well if you want to try something from nature's little secret um, I highly actually recommend the brand like I now here's the thing I would never be affiliated with a brand if I didn't truly love their products um, so yeah trust me okay uh, this one of my favorite leave-in conditioners it leaves your hair so soft okay <laughs> Um, so anyway, all right, so I'm going to be using the main choice ancient Egyptian 24 karat gold gel Is that what is it? twisting gel whatever? So I want something with a little hold, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to have cr like crispity crunchy dry hair and I love this gel. I love I love main choices gels. They're oh, mwah, Chef's kiss. So yeah, I have this one that I need to use up so because I've had it for a while, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so we got the first little section uh, sectioned off, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the gel on there. Try not to use too much. I know I'm heavy handed, bro. Like, oh my gosh, look at that definition. I haven't used this gel in so long since I did my my big chop. Y'all see that? Mmm. Okay, stop because we're not here for a wash and go. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I just really need something that's gonna smooth and hold my hair. You know what I'm saying? Cause we don't want frizz. Nice and smooth. Ooh, I should use this for a wash and go. I gotta buy me another one. This in the tropical moringa. Oh, love it. All right, let's get this on here. Start at the end there. Wrap it around. Oops. Bring it around town. Make sure your ends are smooth. We about to get it on the first try? Stop. Are we really about to get it on the first try? And rolling and rolling until I get to about here and I'm gonna hold right here so I can get this to like cork screw right quick perfect on the first try and then this popped on me are you serious right now oh my god y'all these honestly though these um perm rods from amazon if you look at the reviews they be popping on people so damn that was so perfect oh 
All right, come on, don't fail me now. This second perm rod here. Don't play with me. I will cry. All right, make sure that's nice and smooth, nice and taut. Oh, scunt, bae. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we get it. Okay, okay, okay. What? About to do the little twirly twirl. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ooh. All right. Come on. Do not pop on me, bro. I swear. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, we got the first one. Damn. Got the first one. And I'm just wiping off um, a little excess product because I don't really want flaking. All right. Okay, so I'm all done and I literally like, it took me like an hour and a half about versus the last time where it took me like almost four hours, like three and a half hours. It was a long time, okay? So I really did like just go through these. I did have um, a few little hiccups. Some of them popped, some of them just wasn't, they just kept slipping off or whatever, but I'm really excited about this. I just feel like this is gonna come out so good. Um, I did use like a little bit less than the last time. Maybe I didn't use like five or five of them are left here. So yeah. Um, or maybe cause I didn't use the full pack the last time either. So maybe it's just what's left over. Maybe I used around the same amount. I don't know. But um, this time, the last time I know I did like a middle part and then I had to end up switching it to a side part because my hair is still too short for me um, to do it in a side part. So I just parted it here. So we're going to do another side part again. Um, and I'm really hopeful about this. I'm really excited to see what's going to come out like. I'm going to sit under my dryer for about two hours tonight. I'm gonna sleep in them because we wanna make sure that they're dry. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go sit in my dryer and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, in the next. Day. All right, so it's the next morning and I'm about to take them down and I'm a little scared because the last time when I took these down, it was a late, it was a little later on in the day. So I had like the rest of the day to dry. So I hope that they're dry all the way so um let's do this bt dubs i slept horribly just <laughs> Ooh. yes i do see a little like product build up and when i was sitting under the dryer the air from the dryer was like blowing the flakes and that's on some of the hair that i didn't wipe off the excess on um, which I think it'll be fine because the last time I did have that product build up and all I did was just use some oil and like when I was separating it, it um, 
it's fine. So I do have that nice little hold that I was looking for. We'll see how it does once we separate it. My hair feels really nice and moisturized. And I'm telling y'all, it's that leave-in conditioner. Ooh, that was a big one. Is it dry? It's dry, okay. I was so scared, because that was a big one. I'm not gonna lie, that was a big section, but. Um, um, yeah, it's a, it's definitely the leave-in conditioner, plus the, um, the main choice gel itself is not a drying gel, so. This, I feel like this was a good combo. Oh my God, yes. Oh, soft, but hold, I love it. So y'all see the product in here? That's the product buildup from all that excess product that I did not remove from my hair. So definitely want to remove that excess product or try not to be so heavy handed. Um, yeah. So here I am, all done. And yeah, I have quite a bit of product um, residue which is annoying, but I feel like it'll go away with when I'm separating and stuff like that. Cause this literally, if as long as I pull it out my hair, it's gone, it's not staying as flaking. So I'm okay with that, I guess. But um, just be mindful to wipe off or pat off the excess products. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be going in with oil to help take it down just so I don't cause any frizz and y'all know <laughs> I'm gonna use my melanin hair care oil um y'all this is literally my favorite oil okay um and if you haven't been on my channel and you don't know this is my favorite oil and I don't use oils often um I only use oils if I'm taking a hairstyle down that I want to cause as less as little frizz as possible um or whenever I feel like it I don't it, oil is not like a staple in my in my routine okay but when i do use it i'm reaching for this so i'm just gonna add a little bit on my fingertips like that we gonna oh, y'all didn't even see but it's okay i just added it here rubbing it all over my hand my fingers like that so i like to pull on it like that and where it wants to separate you just gotta remember which way you curled it in because you need to twirl it back that way. And you'll know if you, if you, you'll know your hair will tell you if you twirl it the wrong way. It will look weird. I feel like that could have been separated a little bit more, but it's okay. It feels really soft. Oh my God, my hair feels so soft. That's crazy but it has no frizz and that's what I really wanted. Not that I had frizz the last time, but I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a, a crunchier hold, but I think with the leave-in that I used, um, which is my favorite leave-in at the moment, um, it just really helped soften things up. If I really wanted like a hold hold, um, if you really want it to be like a really like wash and go crunchy hold, with the gel, I would just suggest using the gel on its own. You don't have to use a leave-in. Um, again, so I pull on it, and I just, wherever it wants to separate, I just let it do its thing. Okay, girl? Yeah. And you can separate as much as you want, as little as you want. Oop, hold on. Make sure. You are a little, make sure you're careful with it.
right, so I'm done with all the stretching, the fluffing, and all that stuff like that. And I, I like it, but I don't love it. Um, the coils are beautiful. The curls are beautiful. I just don't really like the way that it's falling. Like, it looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. It looks cute. Again, like, don't get me wrong. I don't, like, hate it. It's just, I don't know why I was expecting something different. Like, I feel like it does look a little bit different than the last time that I did it. I have some frizz here, but that's all me when I was trying to, like, pick and fluff and just make it look... I don't know not like this like it just looks really shrunken and the fact that I stretched it and it's still shrunken I don't know it's just mm, it's cute but I'm not really feeling it in the way that this hair is falling no okay I'm gonna be honest with you guys I feel like if my hair was a little longer it would it would look a lot better um and I've been missing my hair lately. My my long hair. I've been missing it. So I think that's just what's in my head. Like. <sighs> Anyways. um, So yeah. This is what it looks like. I'm actually going to pull the sides up. Because again. I just don't really like it. So I'm going to pull the sides up. Using some bobby pins. And we could do like a little. Faux hawk moment. And I will be right back. I'm just going to put some bobby pins on and fix up the little edges on this side. And, um, yeah, I'll be right back. If y'all want to see how I pull it up, then follow me on Instagram because I'm going to make a reel out of it. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to pull it up on the sides and I'll be right back. All right. So here we are. I just slicked the sides up with some bobby pins um yeah so this is what it's it's, it's looking like it looks like a little giving like a little mohawk faux 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 hawk faux hawk because it's not it's not a real mohawk it's a fake mohawk <laughs> but yeah this is what it's looking like it's cute uh i like it and honestly i really love the product that i used for it um I'll be honest with you, I probably won't do another perm rod set until my hair is a little bit longer. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I just love, like, the, the coils. Look at the curls. They look so pretty. But I just, I need a little more length. I ain't finna see here in front, okay? Because I like long hair. So, I miss my hair. I miss my hair so much. And I'm just like, okay, I need my hair to grow back faster. Let's go on. I grow back faster. This short hair was cute. But it last day, but come on, I need you to grow. I need you to grow. The next time I do a perm rod set, I am definitely going to reach for the main choice gel because I do have nice hold, but my hair is actually really soft. And I think it's because I combined it with, um, well, the leave-in conditioner itself. If you pair anything with that leave-in conditioner, it be leaving your stuff mad soft. So I highly recommend that leave-in conditioner if you want to try it out. I got a code for you. Okay, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry. I'm literally looking at myself in the mirror and I'm so sorry. Like, I literally, that's so rude of me. I need to be here with you guys. I'm so sorry. <sighs> if you guys enjoyed watching this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel out. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.